Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes you're faced with an infinite sum like this and you wonder how do you tell that it converges or diverges? So that's the question. Does it converge or does it diverge? Well, what you can say is that it looks very similar to something like this. So it is similar to the following. An infinite sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 3n to the fourth divided by n to the fifth. And we drop off the other two terms in the numerator and the other two terms in the denominator. And you may say, well, why do I do that? Aren't they important? Well, it turns out as n becomes large, and it will become large quickly, n to the fifth and n to the fourth will far overpower the value that n to the third and n to the second will get, and especially 2 and 5 to the n. So they become insignificant very quickly, so only this drives the infinite series as n becomes large, and so therefore this will determine whether or not it converges or not. So when we look at the s, we can say, well, this is equal to the infinite sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 3 times n to the 4 divided by n to the 5th, which is 1 over n. And now we have an infinite series of 3 times the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n, which is equal to 3 times 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus and so forth, and we know that that series does not converge. So if that doesn't converge, adding those small terms at the end will not make any difference. It will not converge anyway. So therefore, we can say that this series will diverge. And again, using the comparison test is often a very good way keeping from trying to do something very difficult and turning it into something that's rather simple. And that's how it's done.